Hello everyone, this is Chinmay from Bekoto Kaling. Welcome back to our show. It's been almost long time, 2009. I started my channel uh, in the year of 2009 and started sharing lots of information with you guys. Uh, reason is that the perfection and the workability of uh, you know workmanship is very important. So when you're working on the motorcycle or any any vehicle, uh, then it has to be very particular. I mean perfect because what happens generally if we repair wrong way, then the life of that material or particular uh, spare part can hamper overall efficiency of the motorcycle or the two wheeler or any car or any automotive product. So the most important thing is that when you're working on the bike or any motorcycle or any two wheeler or car, it has to be very perfect. If you miss that, then uh, it will cause lots of problems because those things are basically depending on your uh, riding uh, posture or riding compat you know uh, the comfortability uh, and it can hamper a lot of other things so today i'm going to show you about this uh, front front fork system basically which is uh, introduced by the company uh, royal enfield company in new motorcycle in new thunderbird uh, which is basically 41 mm diameter why i'm talking about this 41 mm diameter because the workmanship what you require over here is completely different than the regular fork but uh, some of the motorcycles has got such kind of uh, uh, repairing style so of course quite a bit common for them uh, other apart from that older bikes in particular if you are talking about talking about this royal outfit then older bikes has got different kind of a repairing what you require in uh, this fork system so let's uh, begin with this uh, repair i'll just hook you up uh, guys with the repairing now i'm really very sorry because i'm just restoring my workshop so it's very messy right now inside so we have opened um, i mean uh, i'm just going to open this fork outside and then i'll keep it inside and then we'll start working inside so this is the fork this is inner inner tube basically the chrome part what you see basically is the inner tube and the bottom is called bottom tube so this inner tube is very much important because if you scratch now as you can see uh, oil stains on the left hand side fork tube if you uh, if you see any scratches on the fork tube or the inner tube that means there's a possibility of seal will go uh, if the front axle fitment is wrong then also you know fork oil seal will go if you fill up extra oil uh, your uh, fork oil inside the tube then it also it will go on toss so there are many things so of course uh, you have to be very perfect in that so when you are repairing this front fork so you have to go in line so what is that exactly in line in the sense i'll give you the list now when you are uh, repairing the front fork first of all if it is disc brake uh, if the bike has got disc brake of course this bike has got disc brake so uh, not uh, I mean where the startup is like uh, you will have to remove the caliper from the fork and then you have to remove the front axle by holding uh, the axle on the which is uh, from the uh, from the right hand side because it has got a flat surface for the holding purpose now so there you require uh, open end spanner then you have to remove the axle by using 24 mm ring spanner or socket after that you have to remove the pinching bolt which is on the right hand side fork of the, uh, the bottom and then you have to remove the axle but before that you have to keep the vehicle under the jack because this is nose weight right so then later on you have to remove the wheel and then fender and then all the pinching bolts now remember one thing this is the fork what we have removed now we have i'm not showing you how to remove the fork from the bike because i don't want to waste my time and so yours also so let's uh, come directly come to the main point when you are removing the fork top nut or the cap you just have to use your palm you don't need to use any kind of a spanner because it has it is tightened by hand only so that means uh, you can use pan spanner if you don't have this um, bigger size spanner then you can use plumber uh, wrench uh, but you have to be very careful because it is having chrome face so uh, you can use either your palm uh, the way i have used it and then you can remove the top board you can use plumber uh, wrench but by using cloth or something otherwise it will get scratched but if you are having skill then not an issue this cap has got one o-ring so it will not get leaked and later on if you remove the cap then you will see one distance piece after that there is small washer inside to avoid the damage of distance piece right 
the distance distance spacing both the forks uh, is basically common i mean the length wise and so the diameter wise and so there is a washer which is common for both the forks so you can interchange not an issue you can interchange the spring as well because spring is having uh, same length the only thing is that you have to keep it in mind that spring has got smaller pitch and the longer pitch or the bigger pitch pitch the way uh, you can see in the video the bigger pitch and the smaller pitch smaller pitch has to be at the top and the bigger pitch has to be at the bottom so don't uh, change the orientation of the spring so orientation is very much important if you forget the orientation then you will have problem uh, in your front fork because the uh, damping will become change it may become spongy or it may become bouncy so don't forget about the orientation of the spring now we are going to open up the dust seal we are in fact we are going to open the whole fork but before that we have to drain everything from the fork so remember one thing you may have you may get in fact uh, some dirty smell so the sulfur smell is very high in particular fork oil and uh, the quantity is also very high in this uh, new thunderbird uh, 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 if you compare to older bikes then uh, almost uh, twice we can say it's almost 4 for 50 ml what you require now uh, i'm not going to use actual fork oil what you get in the market i'll be using 10w30 because uh, it is the viscosity is little bit higher than the fork oil what you get in the market and number two even the company also recommend the same uh, grade in fact they were recommending earlier also same grade if you look at the manual so i'm going to use 10w30 in the in the fork so for better suspension now here i'm going to use my palm again to remove a second suspension or the front fork this is basically front fork not the shock observer uh, don't misguide uh, yourself in fact don't get confused the rear suspension system is called basically uh, for this shock observer and the front uh, unit is basically suspension is the fork right now i'm going to i'll have to use this uh, plumber range to remove the top cap of the of the fork uh, you may have you may get uh, you may feel it is tight or something because if it is not open from long time then there is a possibility that because of the deposition or something or the rust may catch up the thread so you can use a plumber wrench if the thickness or the depth to catch this cap is very small so carefully you have to remove you can use later on uh, your palm if you are if it is not working still i mean if it is still tight or something then you can use that uh, plumber wrench uh, then we are going to drain this fork as well after opening the top cap of the fork the shiny part is very much important uh, specifically uh, the travel range because if it is if it gets to catch or something then there's a possibility of a high possibility of leakage so even after repairing the fork uh, if it leaks that means there is a problem with the fork in the tube so we have removed the top cap of the fork and be careful it may pop out because there is a spring inside which is uh, retaining the cap remove the distance piece from the fork and then remove the washer from the fork and then spring spring as you see uh, is completely deep inside so the quantity is since very high that's the reason that it is deep and so the diameter of the fork is also big than early forks so as you can see we are trying to remove the we are trying to avoid the basically spillage uh, that's why we are you know rotating slightly so the oil will stay inside the fork though we have to remove the fork oil um, but later on after removing the spring now we are going to drain this uh, forks don't forget to remove the pinching bolt axle pinching bolt because we need to remove the piston bolt as well from the bottom side so remove the oil uh, just in case if you don't have manual then after removing all the fork oil from the both the forks just calculate how much it is then you will have an idea that how much it requires basically the black portion or the black stains what you see on this fork is basically stains of o-ring or the oil ring which is given for the uh, headlight holder because the headlight holder has got two o-rings or uh, the rubber rings which is given to avoid the leakage but generally what happens water seepage is happening in those bikes so water goes inside the fork and then it 
starts occurring of corrosion. So don't have to worry about that because it's not a travel area. So it's a inner area of the for this uh, headlight holder. So don't worry about it. Let's train everything first, and then we will start uh, dismantling of this fork unit. So this is a very important uh, subject because if you remove and if you remove or repair the fork wrong way, then folks will have lot of trouble trouble uh, basically you have to use proper tools